In this lecture, we're going to look at the RC3 uh, Luke station and the FS6 switch pedal. By the end of this lesson, you'll understand how the FS6 extends the functionality of the RC3 looper. Here we are with the RC3 loop station. Um, I'm going to show you how this works normally. I'm going to lay down some chords um, and then I'm going to stop it and then show you what I have to do in order to play over the top of it. So here we go. And I'll press it once. <laughs> It, it's playing but you can see the red light just here means that it's also ready to overdub so anything that I play over the top of this will actually be recorded literally on top of it and I don't want that to happen because I want to be able to play definitely in order to turn this red light out and mean that I can play over the top and just keep this backing track going I need to press this again in order to stop it from overdubbing, I need to press it twice. And that can be very difficult in the midst of, you know, a, a wedding or a cocktail hour or basically any live performance. To stop this from playing, if I hit it once, all that will happen is it'll go back to overdub. So I need to actually hit it twice. And you can see that it's very easy to misstep. Uh, and create a, a problem where it starts playing again on you and you don't want that to happen. So let's just take this out. So this is how you clear it. I've got to step on that twice and it, obviously if I step on it once it starts to play again. So it, it, it is quite difficult to use in a live situation. Very good for recording. Now we've got nothing on this. Uh, and I'm going to show you what I have to do to be able to play over the top of it. So here we go, I'll start the whole process again. have to hit it twice again in fact at that time I think nearly three times in order to clear it so that I can do the whole thing over again the pedal here is the boss FS6 so what I'm going to do is plug that one in right this is connected to the RC3 through this port here and that has now changed the function. So now I'll show you what I do to do exactly the same thing, lay down some chords and then play over the top. And you'll see how much easier this actually is. We start off by stepping on the RC3 again. Now I've stopped it completely and I can start it again by just tip, tapping this. If I want to stop it, just hit that, that's it, that's the end. What I would normally do is, instead of just tapping that, what I would do is I let this play and I would pick it up, playing the chords over the top of it again. See that that's pretty seamless. Now in order to clear this track so that I can record something else over the top all I have to do is step on this and just hold it down and it instantly clears and I'm ready to start again. So now there's nothing on this and I can actually record something else.
that's why I would use the FS6 and the RC3 together. It just makes life so much easier. Um, and if you're using both feet, keep one just for the FS6 and one just for the looper, well, it's easier still. Let's just have a look at that. We clear this and we, I think we'll go back and do the first one again. Mm -hmm. 